I'm 101 now, and I originally from Hull in Yorkshire. I joined the day I was 18, and I uh, was very fortunate, most unusual for the Air Force, because we uh, kept together as a unit right through the war to stop low-flying aircraft flying along the river, uh, attacking the ships. We had barge balloons on barges and we had to contact them every quarter of an hour to make sure everything was right. The first posting uh, was up into Scapa Flow, the main base of the uh, British fleet. And we had 18 little ships, old flying balloons, uh, among the battleships. The flow is notorious for the bad weather. So after each storm, when the, a lot of them had lost the balloons, we had a questionnaire for the Navy advising where, which direction the balloon was last seen, how much cable it had with it, so that the battleships didn't get it round the propellers. After that, we came back to England and was on blitz squads, where a town usually was attacked several nights in succession. We used to go with a mobile column uh, with uh, aircraft guns uh, as well, uh, which helped to lift the morale of the people that felt at least they were defended for the uh, following raids. And that was where I really felt the war because we were in a park which was close to the public and it was also the base for the civil defence where they brought the bodies in to prepare them for identification. And we got odd jobs on the defence of Canterbury Cathedral, York Minster, Salisbury Cathedral, and very often we went uh, protecting works which I now realise was due to our cracking the code and listening to the Germans. From D-Day, we went over to France. Our job was the protection of shipping going down the river to Antwerp, as we expected that the Germans would make uh, concerted efforts to uh, sink the large ships uh, with tanks direct from America. I was on a, actually a German uh, commandeered barge. We were in the middle of the river sort of passing on messages from base to the various uh, raft ships in the river. We, we finished up at Buckingberg in Germany for an airfield which was where all the politicians and uh, important people were ferried over from England for talks. Being in the Air Force, I was never near an aeroplane until after the war had finished. No hero, just doing the job that I was given. We were very young. It was a great adventure, really. They said it was Britain's finest hour, and I believe it was. They gave up everything. I lost a brother who was killed in North Africa, and I'm sorry that he, he missed a lot. But as the... Uh, Order of Service says they will not grow old as we have grown old. They died in the prime of their lives and they really believed that it was a cause worth fighting for.